All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. In this video, Ryan Garcia, guilty and no excuses. Hair samples don't count, says Vada advocate and the president of Snack, Victor Conti, in a tweet that is sent out by Devin Haney. And man, this SHIT show keeps going with the blatant hypocrisy and the blatant um, adding on that is not necessary from Devin Haney's camp. And Victor Conti, after being caught being very, very, very hypocritical, just should be quiet. But let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. We are chronicling this nonsense uh, that has been going on ever since Ryan Garcia tested positive for Osterine last month. And there's been all kind of accusations thrown around about Victor Conti and Vada and how suspect Vada was uh, and the relationship that Vada has with Devin Haney. I have watched this whole thing. I have documented this whole thing. I've done the best I can do to speak to people that are knowledgeable on the subject, to read scholarly material on the subject. And Victor Conti, who is not a biologist, who is not a, a chemist, it does not have a formal education in this in this particular area, but definitely has a very nefarious uh, reputation for being involved in performance enhancers uh, should just stop talking. But he responds to Ryan Garcia's claim that he has given a hair sample to uh a prominent biochemist, a world-renowned expert in hair follicle, uh, follicle ana analysis, and Victor Conti acts like it doesn't matter. Now, before I get into the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you very much. Now, before I get into this, I want to say that I'm being very, very fair. I am not telling anybody that I think that that Ryan Garcia is innocent because I do not know that. I am speaking of the facts that are publicly available to everyone. Ryan Garcia, it is very reasonable to assume, to, uh, excuse me, it's reasonable to suspect that he cheated against Devin Haney. And why do I say that? Because he has Osterine in his system, in his A sample and his B sample, and there should not be Osterine in his system. The question is whether or not it got in there intentionally. So obviously, Ryan Garcia came out and said that his team came out and said that he submitted his hair sample to a doctor uh, who a world renowned. And when I say doctor, I mean, Ph.D., who tested his hair sample and found out, said that there is nothing, that there was no um Austrian and assist in his hair. And it was consistent with contamination. And they are now going to analyze all of the supplements that Ryan took to determine where the, the contamination came from. That's their argument. Ryan Garcia played an, uh, some audio of Victor Conti saying when speaking about Canelo Alvarez, that Canelo Alvarez, he believed Canelo Alvarez did not intentionally use Computerall. 
because he got his hair te- sample tested and he showed two receipts from restaurants and the restaurants got the meat, got um, get, let them know what lot and what what butchery the meat came from. And they were able to test the meat from that bakery, from that butchery, excuse me, and determine that that contamination came from there. And that's why he believes Ryan Garcia. I mean, that's why I believe Canelo Alvarez. So he puts this tweet, which is just patently dishonest. OK, dishonest. And I'm not saying that it's that he's lying. I'm saying what he said and the way he represented it was dishonest. Because he, in a tweet that Devin Haney retweeted, um, said that there was a difference between Canelo Alvarez's situation with the hair follicles and Ryan Garcia's. Because he said Canelo had his hair test sample tested and he let them know where the contamination came from, which was the particular butchery butchers and that there was information out there that said 30 percent of the meat in mexico was tainted and that's why he trusted it and then he asked a question and this is why i'm saying this is dishonest and this is a debater's trick that people often use and they say what is ryan's and he asked well and then he asked what's ryan's source you want me to answer the question victor His source is what he said. He said that it was, and this is the same scenario. His hair is clean, so the source of the hair is his hair. He said that they are now testing supplements to find out exactly where the contamination came from with the supplements. So as of right now, he's in the same position that Canelo was because Canelo had to find where the contamination was by giving receipts and giving and finding out where the meat was contaminated. So he's going to have to give receipts, which is where did he buy these supplements? And they're going to have to test the supplements. The supplements are the same as the butchery. What's the difference, Mr. Conti? Nothing. Abs, no functional difference between the two of those. But asking the question like it, like the answer is nowhere because somebody can't tell you right there what it is, is being dishonest or misleading may be the better way to say it. Now, the only other difference that he mentioned was that there was evidence that 30 percent of the meat in Mexico was contaminated. Well, There's also a lot of evidence and because people have in the UFC and MMA have have not have been let off the hook that there is documented evidence that supplements are contaminated with Osterine. So since there's documented evidence that there is meat has been contaminated by meat has been contaminated in Mexico. It's also consistent with there being documented evidence of of supplements being contaminated, contaminated meat, contaminated supplements. What's the difference? The no difference. So when Ryan and people point out the hypocrisy, you got to wonder why is Victor Conti talking? Why are you speaking? Just wait for it to play out. Even the comparison between Canelo and Canelo after everything was played out with Ryan, where everything has not been played out, is not fair because you got to wait for him to present the evidence to the New York State Athletic Commission. Just asking in a tweet, where's the source? And so you have people say, well, I don't know where the source is. I don't know. Well, why would you know? You're not the New York State Athletic Commission. They're not going to give you the report. I talked to somebody on my channel who said, well, I look what the lawyer statement says. The lawyer statement doesn't give any dates. The lawyer statement doesn't give any that doesn't give the amount of doesn't give any information of when it was collected. I mean, we didn't get any of that when the lawyer made his statement to the press. Why would you? It's called a summary. 
and you're not going to provide the summary to a news to to a new to a media outlet. You're going to provide. I mean, you're going to give a summary to the new to the media outlet. You're not going to give all the detailed findings to them. You're going to give the detailed findings to the New York State Athletic Commission. And since Victor Conti is his very experienced in people testing positive for performance enhancing drugs, that he should know this process. It makes it seem like Victor Conti is an advocate and is in, is in involved in, in more in trying to make Ryan Garcia, get, making sure Ryan Garcia doesn't get any consideration. Because for whatever reason, whether it is Victor, whether it's because he's mad that Ryan Garcia had called Vada into question, I still don't understand why Victor Conti is talks and represents Vada at all. If he is putting out a product that basically people are saying is as close to real performance enhancers as you can get. Like he's in charge of busting people for actually doing it like or he's involved in busting people for actually doing it. But he's selling a project that allows people that work with him to get all the benefits of it and none of and none of the risk. It's just suspect, man. And people de- and the fact that he's involved in boxing, I don't have a problem with him being involved selling snack and all of that. I mean, whatever, man. There's a bunch of crooks. All- I'm not saying he's a crook, even though, you know, it is what it is. Um, I don't have a problem with him being involved and making a living. But I don't understand why he is literally leaving him talking about things related to Vada. He should be as um, 50 miles away from Vada because he does not have the reputation that is going to help them. And I'm telling you, if Ryan Garcia winds up getting off clear, Ryan got enough money to sue Vada and call them cause them guys a lot of problems. And it's also come that that Vada is only a middleman, only a middleman like, oh, we don't do the collection. Vada does it. Well, then why in the world are they doing business with you? Why can't they just take a, the same protocol you use, ask WADA, ask WADA to do it themselves and cut out the pay, cut out the middleman and not have to pay you the money? It's crazy. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. I just wish Victor Conti would be quiet about it. I wish Devin Haney would be quiet about it because the fact that the matter is neither one of them are a party to this adjudication. It's New York State Athletic Commission and it is and it is Ryan Garcia and the WBC is involved as well. And that is it. That's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.